This is the console for the E.M. Skinner pipe organ, Opus 328. It was built in 1921 for the Cleveland Public Auditorium. Typical things that were here were national conventions. And you can be sure that, you know, that was the music source. An instrument like this was really meant to entertain people. Why would you put a pipe organ in a 16,000 seat hall? Well, if you had 16,000 people in a room and you put an orchestra on stage, it might not really have effect. You get 16,000 people together with a really big pipe organ, and you can play the popular song of the day, but you can also play the classics, and that's really where you know, this comes from and, and why we need to preserve this. This was the previous way of entertaining the masses pre-television, pre-radio, pre-internet. The other side of the stage opens into music hall which is about 3,000, 3,500 seats. Uh, now the idea of installing the organ on the uh, west wing of the stage was that by raising the curtains, it could play into either auditorium. The organ is actually historically significant for a few reasons. It is one of the last great civic hall organs left. It was an opportunity for Skinner to do a lot of his firsts, and those firsts ended up here in this hall and in this big contract of his. In the last 10 years, we've lost about 12 organs, significant organs, and there's only one or two left now really out there being actively used or in a, even in a playable condition. Uh, the organ here has had very little uh, repair work. It's actually preservation by neglect. So this being Skinner's magnum opus, uh, it's, it's very important. Um, it's, it's kind of the last of the legacy. In the last five years I've been trying my best to gain access to it, uh, to even find out anything about its condition and I'm not an organ expert at all but uh, uh, I knew that it existed. I had no idea whether it even was in any kind of condition to, to be lower, considered for repair. The lower range of that and here I here. come to visit today and find yeah. out that it is, I'm just delighted. When these instruments are destroyed and when the buildings are, are destroyed, sometimes we, we are aware of what we're losing in, in favor of, of supposed progress. But when they are lost, often that move and, and loss of history, of architecture, of a society and its way of life is not worth it in the end. There's some lovely murals in this building. There's some sayings on the building, and that they're, they're very simple sayings, and the murals are, are basically stories without words. It, its role was education. The pipe organ emotionally can move you. It can physically move you, um, but it also can do the opposite. It can be comforting at times when you hear gentle, soothing sounds, very melodic solo lines, very gentle, very... Um, it, it has the ability to, to strike a lot of emotions. E.M. Skinner was the premier organ builder of this country. Beautiful orchestral voices, uh, building instruments that almost any, any type of music could be played on. He was a mechanical genius, he was a tonal genius, always somebody that wanted to create new tones and new sounds from the organ. He believed in a lot of gentle qualities and this organ contains a number of those very individual solo voices that are, are very typical of a Skinner organ. Um, if not his own signature pieces. He really did develop the American classic sound. Just looking at the stops on this, you can see how orchestral it was. to get the organ up and going. We, we hope to expose people to it during our conference. But our conference here is maybe the secondary role and the secondary purpose. Hopefully, the day after the conference, the same attitude, appreciation, 
and care for the instrument that our ancestors gave it will be continued um, for not just weeks, but years and generations to come. The purpose of the Oregon Historical Society's annual convention is not only a, to be a gathering point of our membership, uh, which makes up enthusiasts, organ builders, uh, professors of music. It's not only to get them together, but then to make the area or region that we've traveled into aware of their historic treasures. Um, and hopefully after we leave, we leave in their hands a better understanding of what they have and hopefully knowledge about how to maintain the organ and how to keep up this tradition. Mm -hmm.